Hello, it is um, S Detective Smallerino on the case, and um, today I'm going to talk about my deep hatred towards um, flat earthers. Now, just to set the tone a little bit, I do not like flat earthers for one reason and one reason only. They do not care about the truth. They just want their point to be right, and nothing else matters, which is absurd. Now, here's one point that most flat earthers make, is that all the NASA images are faked, but they're not. You cannot, nobody can prove if they are real or not, which makes them real. Because if you can't prove that they're fake, then you can't prove if they're real, therefore making it so that neither side is true, which means they're both false, therefore making them true. A little confusing, but that's not even the worst part. What other flat earthers say is that the government is just trying to lie to us, and NASA is lying. Which, again, is also not true. Let me, let me give you a little lesson real fast, okay? What cannot happen is that... Ooh, this mustache is very cool. I like it. Mm. What cannot happen is... NASA cannot and will not fake their images because and, and lie to us because what do they get? What do they gain? They get money anyway. They get everything they want. Why do they need to fake images? I'm going to turn this light back on. <laughs> what do they get by faking images? They don't get anything. They really don't. And there are literally devices that are on the moon and on Mars proving that they're not fake. We have filmed footage from both sides. And I'm sorry if my hands are a little shaky. I drank a lot of coffee. Um, there is proof for both sides that it is true. Anyway, that's not even the biggest point, is they try to prove that the Earth is flat with actual science. With, oh my god, there's, there's a lot of banging outside, uh, and I'm a little shaky because of that, but oh well. No biggie. Anyway, as I was saying, god, that's, it's a garbage truck, I'm sorry. Um, what was I saying? Um, oh, right. They try to prove that the Earth is flat by actual science. And the science is that they try to prove that it's not a, it, that the Earth is flat and the atmosphere is a dome, which actually wouldn't work because the Earth would have to be spherical for the atmosphere to be spherical. And then... Even if that somehow worked, how does the seasons and the axis change? Is because it's not like one side is the U.S. and South America, and on the other side, it's everything else. No, they think of it as all spread out and flat. So, how is it that one side down here gets winter and the other one gets summer, but they can't just have it rotate to the point that the sun would be shining on the very back end. This is the side where everything is. This is the side where nothing is. And then the atmosphere is the curve on top. They need it to rotate around the sun, facing so that this side is facing the sun, because there's always day. And then how does night happen? Well, there's a few graphs where there's a circle, which is the Earth. And then there's the sun, that circles around here, and then there's a moon that does it in the opposite direction. So, judging off of that, how is it that the sun that is bigger than the moon brightens up only one side of the Earth, even though it's all on a flat plane, brightens up one side of the Earth, but not the other? And then, how do you explain moon phases, then? Because the moon doesn't just twirl. And boom, new phase. It doesn't do that. Because the moon orbits the Earth. But if it does it in a ellipses manner, how is the Earth supposed to perceive that? Because there would be nights where the 
moon is just gone, and the moon is here. This is why the Earth is round, not flat. Is because there's no way that the sun would only light up one side of the Earth and not the other. And the moon would exhibit the exact same light as something else. So, anyway... Another thing that they try to do is, um, the whole atmosphere thing. I got it. The whole atmosphere thing is that it's the dome. But gravity, gravity completely contradicts that. Because if we look at the Earth, and they think that's flat, how is the sun spherical? Because they know that much. They also know that the moon is spherical. So why is it that the laws of gravity only affect Earth and none of the other planets? I just, I don't get it. They are just, they think they are the biggest brains on the planet. The little detective small arena over here has deciphered. And, you know, here's a little analogy of what flat earthers like to do. They stare at NASA images. They know that they are true and they poop their pants, right? And then they just scoop it up and throw it at the images because they're just so scared. Like, oh, this stinks. Let's make it worse. I just, I don't understand. And I have a lot of coffee and I'm very twitchy. But anyway, as I was, basically the whole point is flat earthers are dumb and they don't know what they're talking about. Okay? So if you're a flat earther, watch out. Also, this is how um, the channel will look from now on because, uh, I, I don't know, I feel like it. And it's much cooler, because I get to have a little, little, pretty little mustache without having to actually grow it out. And I also love my fedora and this fake tie that I wore over a t-shirt instead of a button-up, because I'm weird like that, which is actually pretty cool. Um, anyway, the next video I will be coming out with is probably a Karen video. Because I, like... The whole anti-maskers, uh, anti-vaccine, stuff like that. Just absolute idiots. Um, I might make a part two, uh, might make a part two to this. So, just be ready for that. Um, and I'll see you all next time.